Charlotte, I have one question. What kind of sorcery is this? Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video and I wanted to try out as much as I possibly can to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. So I was introduced to Charlotte Tilbury, well, I've seen it online forever, but then the first time I tried it was actually last summer. I was over at Sam's house and we were filming a video together, which I will link up here. I tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow the longest name of a makeup product ever. I, I fell in love immediately. I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely stunning. What is this? I went home and bought it immediately. Maybe a few months later, Charlotte Tilbury reached out and asked me if there's anything specifically I wanted to try. And I said, um, everything? <laughs> they sent over a huge package of makeup though, so exciting. So thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury for sending this makeup my way. And I'm gonna be trying out the makeup today. I don't know if you guys have heard of this or not, but I feel like every celebrity makeup artist that exists on the face of this earth, when you watch their videos and they're talking about what they put on their clients, it's always the magic cream. What is it? And it says here on the side, I've been mixing my own age-defying moisturizer for years, known backstage as Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's a secret mix of collagen-boosting anti-age ingredients, hyaluronic acid hydrators, and floral oils that instantly transforms tired, dull skin. I like the sound of that, Charlotte. All right, so I'm going to try this, but before we get into the rest of the video, subscribe. You don't know what my content's gonna be like, nor do you know if you like me or not. And probably from the beginning of this video, you're like, mm, a little iffy. Just do it anyway. And if you don't like me later, then just hit unsubscribe. But if you subscribe now, you may fall in love. I feel like I have one of these faces that initially when you first see it, you're like, no, I don't like her. Something about that face, it's punchable. There's something about it. And I get you, I hear you. And then maybe you see me again, you're like, stop pop it up and I recommended you, bitch. And then one day you're like, oh my God, all right, fine. And then you click on it. And then you're like, all right, she's not so bad. And then after about six hate watching videos, you're like, all right, I kind of like this bitch. That's who I am. So it, I take some warming up too, but eventually one day, like my neighbor cats, you will maybe kind of like me. Also, you guys can hit the thumbs up button at any point during this video if at any point you're like, I think I like this video. If I sound sick, I am. I came down with a cold last week, Tuesday. It is Sunday. This is the packaging here for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm gonna open her up and let's see what we're looking at. Oh, she fancy. She is classy. She is rich. Charlotte, beautiful. Oh, you know what that smells like? Money. Oh, it brings me back. It brings me back to something. Oh my God. It smells like when you're in a YMCA, women's locker room, and there's a lady in there who just got done swimming and she's putting on lotion. That's what this smells like. You know the ladies that feel overly confident and getting completely butt naked in the changing room? That one, that's what this smells like, but in a good way. It smells like a sunscreeny. Oh, she thick. <laughs> she a thick bitch. Oh. Oh my God. It smells so familiar to me. It's thicker. Girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Than I pictured it being. Let's see if this magically transforms me. Charlotte, if it doesn't, you'll be getting a call from my lawyer. That feels real nice. It is really creamy, but glidey, and it sinks. I mean, it doesn't sink right in. You can see it did leave me a little bit shiny, but in like a really beautiful way. Mm. So there are no eyeshadows that I could see. A lot of complexion products and lip stuff, but really no eye products. So we're not gonna be doing them today, I don't think. I mean, I feel like I do a crazy eyeshadow look in like every video, but today is not that day. Well, my skin does feel nice and hydrated after that. That is for sure. I feel very hydrated and it's not so heavily scented. Don't let my hideous description of that scent in any way deter you from it. It just smells sunscreeny, but I feel plump and stunning, and maybe it's placebo. <laughs> that feels really nice. Maybe, does this have sunscreen in it? It doesn't say, I think, I, I didn't see anywhere that this contains sunscreen, but it definitely feels like it does. But do I look so plump right now and youthful? Charlotte, thank you. Everything else I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury is fan 
fantastic. So I gotta say, this is more of a pricey brand, but this right here, bitch, this made it into my 2018 favorites. And if you've never seen this before, it's such a unique product. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth glow. And that is exactly what it makes you into, a superstar that's youthful and glowing. It really does. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna put it all over my face and let you guys see. So I'm gonna test out a little stripe of it right there. And whilst it looks foundation-y, just, just watch. It is like a liquid highlighter. There's a very like lotion-y consistency. And it is such a light, reflective, gorgeous product. It is like nothing else I've ever tried. And while it is like a liquid highlighter in a way, there are some liquid highlighters that have like, they're like metallic. This is not metallic. It is just like, that's the appearance you want after you work out at the gym. When they say like that healthy glow, that's what this gives. This is my regular cheek. This is my superstar youth glow cheek. What do you think? <laughs> You can either tap it out with your fingers, you can use a beauty sponge, you can do whatever. It does stay semi-tacky. It doesn't like fully dry down. This is one of those brands that wasn't necessarily on my radar. I mean, it was, I always found the products to be like insanely gorgeous, but it wasn't something that I was like rushing out to purchase until I had tried it with Sam because when I saw this, I was like, oh, what a unique thing. Like I never would have thought to buy something like this. All right, I am looking so wet. <laughs> all right, so all I've got on my face right now is the Magic Cream and the Superstar Youth Glow. I would leave the house with this skin. I just feel so glowy and fresh, but of course we are going to add more. I'm gonna go in now with the Magic Foundation and I have, I think I'm gonna go in with shade five just from looking at it. It looks like it has more, oh, is this a pump? Shit. <laughs> okay, it is, it's a pump. Probably gonna be a little, oh, might not be too dark. Oh. No, I think that's I think that's good. I wanna apply it like with my fingers. For some reason it's like it feels right to just massage it in. I don't know. It feels like this is how I would have it applied by Charlotte herself. I am gonna switch to a brush real quick just because I want to give it a fair shot of how I would, you know, naturally put it on. But even with just my fingers like that, I feel like that would be a nice way to apply it. I do notice that a lot of celebrity makeup artists use their hands to apply foundation. And I think they just like the finish better. It like melts into the skin better. I'm gonna be using this little hourglass foundation brush because it's right next to me. what kind of coverage this is meant to have. I would imagine it's gonna be like a natural finish so it's not super full coverage, just given the way that other Charlotte Tilbury products are. Let me just put a couple dots here and see if we can tell the coverage. I would say off of my first impression, the finish on this seems to be like a highlight, low medium coverage because I can still see my skin coming through. I don't feel like it is like super high coverage by any means, but the finish of it's really beautiful, like a really dewy and skin-like. But if you like a higher coverage, I feel a lot of, you see a lot of redness down here and a lot of redness down here. And then right now I had a heating pack on my face all day yesterday. So I have a lot of redness on my forehead to cover. So let's try to cover this redness right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks kind of fuller coverage right when you set it down, but then it seems to sort of sheer out as you're working with it. But you know what? It's not bad. I quite like the finish a lot. You guys know I love a dewy finish foundation. This looks really nice so far. However, I feel like I can get a very similar outcome to this glowy finish from like L'Oreal Pro Glow, but it has a little bit better of a coverage. So if I were to reach just off of my first impression from one to the other, I would still choose L'Oreal Pro Glow because it gives you the same shiny finish but it gives you a really nice coverage at the same time. Try to build up a little more coverage down here. 
Okay, so coverage wise off of the first initial impression, I would prefer a little bit more pigment in that because I feel like the coverage is low. If you have very flawless skin already, you don't have a lot of redness to cover and you just like an even base, I feel like this does give that. You can still see your skin through it. If you like it to look really natural and just like you're almost just wearing a moisturizer on your natural skin without it looking like a layer of foundation, you may love this. I'm gonna turn the lights down so you guys can really see because I feel like when I'm looking at this on camera in my monitor over here, it looks absolutely beautiful and perfect, but in person I can see a bit more. So I'm gonna turn the lights down to kind of more realistic look. But for me, I feel like when I look at this up close, it doesn't even look like I really have foundation on. It just looks like I have really pretty good skin with just like a nice layer of moisturizer. It is drying down a little bit as it sits here, but it's still staying luminous. All right, well, that coverage is fine for me. I think that's fine. So I don't have a concealer from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm just gonna use my regular concealer. I'm just gonna do like a couple dots of it since this is a very low coverage look. I don't wanna look like I'm overly concealing anything. I'm just using a dab of ColourPop No Filter since I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury. If you've got the type of skin too that you have like freckles that you just don't wanna cover, you can see I have some sunspots on my cheeks right here and you can see them through. Oh God, I'm wearing a bodysuit and it's just riding up my butt. So now I'm going to go into the Hollywood Contour Wand and this is in the shade Fair Medium. So let's open this up. I've Tested this out on my hand once, but I did not actually use this on my face. So it's got this little guy at the end and you squeeze the product up through it and then you can like dab it on. Oh, that's a little deeper than I pictured it being. Um, oh God, I'm gonna do one side of my face first. I feel scared. Okay, I feel like this is gonna sheer out and blend nicely. Oh, oh, well, you know what? Initially, it, oh. Initially, it looked like it wasn't gonna blend out, but God, that just blended out like in one and a half seconds. I think Sam likes this product too. Maybe she uses more of a bronzery shade. This one is the contour wand, so it's a little more cool toned. Looks really nice. What? Okay, it just like is blended. How is it? How? Do you see what I'm talking about? Like it's taking legitimately just like a tapping effort to just be blended. It's, I'm not even trying. It just is like, I'm just so shocked at how effortlessly this is blending. It, it's the weirdest consistency. It's like very liquidy, but it feels like it's just, it's just gone. It just, as soon as I'm blending it out, it's gone into the most beautifully, perfectly blended contour I've ever done. What is this magic? All right, well, let's try it under here. Like a little, little beard. Oh, you know, just a very natural shadow. <gasps> let's get rid of this double shin, okay. Come on, Keto, come on, Charlotte, let's get going. Okay, well, this product is so unique and so neat and I you had to use so very little of it. I am, Shook. It looks so nice, so natural, so beautiful, so stunning, so glowy, so easy to blend. What the actual fuck? <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to use the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand, which is, I guess, like the highlighter version of this. This is in the shade Spotlight. When you open these up, you twist them to on, so you can turn it off if you wanna travel with it so it's not squirting all over the place. You twist it on and then up through here, you squeeze the product out. Oh, oh that looks shiny. Okay. I would imagine tapping this with your finger is gonna be the best way. I can't tell on this side. I can tell on this side because I have my trusty monitor. Okay, beautiful color for my skin tone. Okay, Charlotte, I have one question. What kind of sorcery is this? How are you just making products that are good? <laughs> boop, 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 beep, bop, beep, done. Oh my God. God, it just looks wet. It looks like skin, like wet skin. <laughs> 
really impressed with all of these products, annoyingly. You know, you, you skepticize. I'm a skeptic in every way. They say that's because I'm a Capricorn, but I'm also skeptical in uh, Zodiac stuff. Maybe that is because I'm a Capricorn. Maybe it's because I just think everything's gonna suck before I try it. And that's not a good thing. You know what? I'm gonna put some of this on my eyes because we don't have any eyeshadow for today. So might as well just like literally use this little applicator to blend out like an eyeshadow and it's working and it's beautiful. Can we just take a moment and look at this face? Look at it. <laughs> I've never felt dewier or more beautiful than in this moment. All right, let's move on to whatever this is. Skin gliding highlighters. This is the packaging. <gasps> oh, look at that shit. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter brush for this. I mean, as if we aren't glowy enough, but like, let's just do the damn thing. I'm gonna use these two shades here. This one looks like it's gonna be a little too deep for my skin tone. I don't know if I could get any glowier in this moment. You know what, Charlotte? I've had enough. Who do you think you are? Huh? Making just beautiful makeup. Hmm? Making the perfect products. Who do you think you are, Charlotte? What, celebrity makeup artist? Oh, one of the most celebrated artists of our time? Yeah, that's who you think you are. And you know what? Deservedly so, because these products are absolutely stunning. It's annoying me. So I was gonna do Lily Lashes today. I just bought some for the first time. I bought the Faux Mink in the style Miami. Now, now that I see this face of makeup, I feel like that's gonna be overkill. They'll be a little much for the natural glam and which we have going. I think, I mean, God, Damn it, these are beautiful. Are they gonna be too much for this look? Yes. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yes. <laughs> okay, lashes are on. They are intense, I know, but I have to say, maybe my favorite lashes I've ever worn. I love the curliness of them and how they don't just stick out straight, they like go up. And I saw these all over Instagram and I, I kept clicking on people's pictures being like, I love these lashes, what are they? They're always Lily Lashes Miami. And you know what? Why buy the mink ones? When you could buy the faux mink, they look just as beautiful. There were no blushes in this whole group of stuff that I have here. I'd like to wear a blush today, I think. So maybe I will use this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette. And I think I might go in with like this shade right here. I wanna keep things glowy. So I don't wanna, I don't know, use a blush that's not glowy. I wish that I had something from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sure there are blushes, but I don't have one. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with the lips. And so there are a few different lip products here. This is what I am gearing towards wanting to use because I'm liking this really less natural look. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Luster Luxe Color Lasting Lip Lacquer. Bitch. Lip Luster Luxe Color Lasting Lip Lacquer. <laughs> This is the shade Candy Darling, and I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how it works. Ooh. It's just like a very sheer, rosy colored lip gloss. I would go in with a lipstick today, but I don't want to. Well, that's a pretty color. I like it. It's got like a rosy hint to it. It's kind of like a reddish tint to the lip gloss, but that's really pretty. I have other Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks here. I have used the Kim KW lipstick is one of my favorites. It is literally so beautiful. What a gorgeous formula. It is very creamy and really hydrating and it's a beautiful nude. However, it is in my purse. I keep it in my purse because I love it so much that it's a nude that if I just wanna pop on at any time, it's, it's truly that beautiful. When you hear people talking about it all the time, there's a reason why. Maybe I will toss on a little bit of a red in like the center of my lips. What is this here? This is called The Queen. I'm kinda looking for that like blown out lip. I'm not really wanting to go for like a really strong edge to my lip today. All right, you guys, and I think that is everything that I have right here from Charlotte Tilbury that I wanted to try. It was not a full face, but I feel like I got a good impression of especially the skin products, which I feel like is the shining star of Charlotte Tilbury, the brand in and of itself. So I'm just gonna give you guys my final thoughts and rundown after this first impression. In person, I feel 
Okay, stunning. <laughs> yeah, I feel like once the rest of my makeup went on, the highlighters went on, I did the contour products, I feel that the medium coverage of the foundation, I'd say like low medium coverage of the foundation, ended up not being so much of a problem. In fact, off of my first impression, I may say, I feel like an angel. I think that this skin and this highlight and the glow and just the minimal products, but the impact that they give, I feel these are going to become a really regular part of my routine. I really was impressed with these two products, especially. This is the Beauty Light wand and then the Contour wand. I've never used products quite like those before. The Contour wand blended out so seamlessly, so easily, so beautifully. All right, let me give you some prices real quick. So the Magic Cream, what size is mine? 150 mil? 50 mil. Shit. The 50 mil. Ah! <laughs> I did not know that was the price. This is $100. The 150 mil bottle is $255. <laughs> Well, so far on the website, this has 530 reviews. It gets a 4.8 star off of my first impression using it today, which thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury, for sending this to me because I I, I, would, I didn't know that was the price. I did not know. I feel like it worked beautifully. I did feel like it plumped my skin. Do I know if it did or not? I don't know. I've had incredibly dry skin over the last few days because of the sickness that I'm going through, but I felt like it just sunk right into my skin and gave me a really nice level of hydration. I don't know because I've only ever used it once if it was worth it have you guys tried it multiple times tell me do you guys love it it's got some good ingredients in it that would lead me to believe that it is working because it does have hyaluronic acid which draws moisture into the skin i feel very plump and dewy that could be just literally the sheer amount of hydrating products that i have on my skin right now but almost a five star out of 530 reviews yeah that's pretty good and i am shocked at the price i had no idea that that's what we were looking at the magic foundation comes in 20 shades it looks like a lot of the shades are fair and medium let's not lie to ourselves and i was a shade five which was a medium shade and if i'm a medium shade and i'm as white as absolute fuck it's not a great shade range like let's be frank the only the bottom shades could be used by like you know medium and deep skin but even so these don't go deep dark that's just, I would feel the range needs to be extended by at least a minimum of 10 more shades. $44, I think the foundation, as far as finish goes, is really beautiful. Again, to reiterate, it is, I would say, a light medium to maybe like a medium coverage. It's got a beautiful finish. I mean, it's skin-like. You can still see imperfections through it, but it's not so low coverage that it's a waste of your time. As far as the foundation goes, I, I do like the finish of it. This one gets a 4.6 out of 187 reviews. They have one that was called Gilded Goddess and it is a similar palette to this. It's online exclusive only. I don't know what the difference is. This is $58. The other one was like $110. I was like, <coughs> this comes in just this one set of shades. It gets a 4.6 out of 220 reviews. It is $58 and it's a beautiful product. I don't feel like it's something that I maybe couldn't dupe out with something else, but if you want luxury looking thing, I mean, how beautiful is this? It just feels so high quality. I didn't even want to dip my brush into it. It hurt me a little bit to do so, if I'm being frank. Beautiful product. I don't know if it's something that I would reach for over other highlighters. I really love my Ofra highlighters. I love the ABH and Omrezy highlighter. And frankly, this wand did what I needed that to do, but I feel like it was I don't know, it's like a liquid product, but it feel, it dried down enough for me. It's not like too tacky. If you like a liquid or cream product, you might like this more. It gave me this glow though. And I feel like I didn't even need that bar of gold palette to achieve that. But if you prefer powder, you might like that one more. I don't know. $22. It's a beautiful lip gloss, but um, I think if you like the look of a slight tint with like a glossy look to it, you can take any lipstick and pat it on and then toss a super glossy gloss over the top. My favorite is the Glossier gloss because it's so glossy. I just said glossy so many times. However, you don't necessarily need one that has just like a minimal hint of tint. If you like the way this looked like so much, $22 is pretty hefty of a price tag. I don't know if I can recommend it, but it, it is beautiful and I will wear it again because I have it, but it's not something that I would rush out and purchase. I do love lip gloss. It's my number one. I prefer it a hundred trillion times over lipstick. I'll hold it up next to my Pat McGrath. Can you see? It's just like, it's smaller than your average lip gloss. It would fit nicely in like a handbag or something, but at the same time, it's like, 
is it gonna make you die over it? This is the lowest rated one so far and it's a 3.7 out of five stars out of nine reviews. So I love a sheer lip gloss and it is a beautiful lip gloss, but again, I don't know if it's worth $22. Lipstick that I put in the center of my lips is pretty. It's called The Queen. Um, it's not a color that I necessarily would like always reach for, but again, Charlotte Tilbury has really nice lip products. I mean, honestly, have really nice everything products. I really don't think if a shade works for you that you're gonna be disappointed in the makeup. It's something I was very skeptical about in the beginning. And then when I tried it is when I was like, oh. <laughs> so if you have the money and if you're looking for luxury makeup, if you're looking for beautiful dewy products, the things that I showed you today, I gotta tell you, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. If you like the feeling of luxurious makeup, you might really like these products. There are certain products that when I'm trying them on my skin, I can literally feel my skin reacting. If you guys watch my video where I did a full face of Instagram trends, in that video, I could feel my skin was unhappy with me. It felt, I don't know, like I could feel my face almost like rashing and itching and breaking out. And I feel like almost the opposite is true with these products. I feel like my skin is asking for them and maybe it's placebo. Like I said, maybe I'm just like falling into the hype of like luxury makeup and that could certainly be the case. But especially that magic cream, bitch, I did not realize first of all that it was $100. Second, I am going to be using that <laughs> because it really, I feel did create a nice base for my makeup. But just off of my first impression, I'm very pleased with the way that my skin looks and I feel really beautiful and hydrated. It was an easy face of makeup and I could see myself reaching for this stuff when I want something quick and easy. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this video was somewhat interesting to watch. Let me know your thoughts about these products in the comments. I'd be really interested to know, is there anything that I need to go run and purchase right now from Charlotte Tilbury? And let me know, do you guys wanna see any other full face of? I feel like we're gonna be doing full face February. I wanna do full face of Wet n Wild, I have all the products. I wanna do full face of Too Faced. Let me know what brands you're interested in seeing that with. I know that I wanna do a nice mixture of like high end and drugstore. I wanna do Elf because that's a brand that I've hardly tried anything from. I would love to do a full face of Elf. I'm glad I was able to try this all out today. It's a lot of it's gonna be going into my collection that I'm gonna be using on the daily and I can see myself really reaching for this stuff often. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you at my next video. Bye! <sighs> Tired and absolutely freezing. I feel cold. Yep, that's what freezing is. Idiot. So much to Charlotte Tilbury for sending a bunch of me. <laughs> it says here, oh my gosh. <laughs> it does say. <clears throat> oh, tapping my nose like this is making me want to sneeze. Is that a zit? It does not look like a sh like a sh 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 <coughs> brush brush oh sorry a contour okay. never cut me off again <laughs> I hate myself Beautiful nude. Uh, I just went. Somebody is messaging me on Instagram. Stop it. Whoever's doing that, stop it right now. Charlotte Tilbury had. Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte. I could want to call her Charlotte. Charlotte Tilbury was, again, very skeptical about in the beginning. In the beginning. I said that very odd. Feels really nice. And if you like the. If you like the feeling of. Feeling love. 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 Love.